so great. Congratulations. Thank you. So what happened? Were you just sitting at home with your hubby and or what's No, I was not sitting at home with my hubby <laughs> because I thought that I there was no chance I was winning. I actually I tuned in because um because we had like a bold and beautiful zoom and so we were like, oh, okay, let's watch the East Coast feed and you know, and and um you know, so I, I tuned in because I was like, well, I want to see what everybody does. And um, I told my husband, I was like, go on a bike ride. He's on a bike ride right now. <laughs> like, he's on a bike ride. My son is watching, like, Ninjago downstairs. Um, we have a housemaid who's, like, you know, paying bills at the dining room table. And, like, I just, I never, I never dreamed in a thousand years that, um, that I would win. I just, I you know, I am, so, I'm so, I'm grateful and think, I mean, like it's, it's a real shock. <laughs> yeah, but what's wonderful is, you know, this ties you with Erica Slazak, who you, I know I love because I know you I, work with and Erica. I, I mean, not just love, like I grew up watching her and re really watching her, like going like, what did she do? And when I got to work on Young, uh, Young uh, on One Life to Live, Hi. hello Heather, um, <laughs> One Life to Live, I there were many people on that show that I really wanted to work with, um, not just her, you know, Robin Strasser and and uh, Cassie DePaiva and and you know so many really great women. Um, I I think I've always said this, but I think that daytime is such a unique um, genre because is it's really female motivated and the the leads of the show are women it was matriarchal and so i i was just like i cannot wait to work with her and she you know much like susan flannery and Catherine kelly Lane, by the way um brings it every single time and um learned so much from her and i I can't even believe that I am in this position. <laughs> like, when Erica slays that Heather, you and Erica slay. me, like it's just completely unfathomable to me. So, um, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I've had the luxury of, of being close with Erica for a long time, and I know she really always loved your you too. Um, I just wanted to pass it on. She, I've had a wonderful time. She's so amazing, and um, she is. Well, class act all the way and I love that you're in her company I mean I think that's just something who would yeah. have ever thought right so so uh winning you know as we said earlier in the week you have no body parts left it's Katie to yeah no probably win another <laughs> one. Yeah. I'm like bionic bionic woman I yeah so <laughs> um so, yeah I, what did you did you really did not think you had a shot or did you I you know I okay so Every year, I, I try to look at my work and I try to go like, well, how do I feel about this this chunk of time? Um, because our, our shows are cyclical and, and especially Bold and Beautiful is very cyclical. And so like you can have some downtime and then you have a lot of uptime. And, and so I try to look and I try to say, well, am I proud of this? You know, am I proud to put this forward? Um, in the group of women that I know that I am in and a group of women that I really, really respect. And so I felt, I felt good about this stuff. I felt like, I, I felt like, you know, I was proud of it. And so I felt like, okay, I'm going to put this forward and, and um, you know, and, and let the chips fall where they may. And so, but I just, I, I don't know. I just didn't, I, you know, I, there are years where you go like, yes, this is my year. Right. And then there are years where you're like, and honestly, I got to tell you, there are years where you go, this is my year. And then you don't win. Um, <laughs> I've experienced that before too, but like, but you know, there are years where you're like, I, I put forward work that I feel good about. And, um, you know, I just, I, I love all the women in the category. I'm fans of all of them. I've known them for literally decades and um i've always been proud whenever i can be a part of uh, you know a part of that group so um did your phone blow up <laughs> but i was not planning on that at but all i told my husband to go on a bike ride 
<laughs> it, was not, it was not a, uh, a plant. Where, where are you going to put this one with the others, I suppose? And where are they? Where is this going to go? They are currently on top of my piano down in my living room. And yes, they will go there as well. <laughs> so, um, I, and yeah, I so grateful and I can't even, I can't even express how gr grateful I am to be a part of this community, to have lived my life in this community, to have had the, um, they, they, it has given me the life that I have. And I, there's not enough gratitude that I can express to Brad Bell and to um, Bold and Beautiful and, and the entire community. There's, I, there's, there's nothing I can say that can express my gratitude enough. You know, and that's what's so wonderful, Heather, you have been such a part of this community for so long, for your life. And it's gonna be almost like, I, what I wanna say what's so touching is, it will be like a legacy, you're like a six time winner. It's gonna be hard to be, you'll be part of the legacy of this, Heather. And think of younger actresses coming up that will now look up to Heather Tom. I think that is the most, you <laughs> from such a little, but, but like, it'll be like, oh, Heather Tom, she was that six time. Pretty amazing, Heather. Thank you. It's, Thank it's, you so much. it's just beautiful. You yeah. know, I, I'm so thrilled for you. Thank and you. Um, <laughs> what did you, for your acceptance speech, of course, I didn't hear it because I'm on the West Coast. Did you, was there anything, did you just kind of like get through it and? Well, okay, so yeah, I mean, Basically, we had to uh, tape these accept acceptance speeches like beforehand, which was very awkward. Um, I won't. I will not. I will admit that it was very <laughs> strange. Um, we also had to adhere to the thirty-second acceptance speech, which, when you're in real life, you don't really adhere to that. And um, so, <laughs> so I do feel like I was e talking, um, but. Uh, I, I did have a moment with me. We were doing a bold and beautiful Zoom, um, watching the the East Coast feed, and so I did have a moment that I hope I was able to express, you know, my gratitude to everyone on the show. And ugh, it's gonna make me cry, but I I just you know I just can't go back. I can't wait to go back to work and see all of their faces, and even if they're behind masks and shields. <laughs> um, yes. You know, I just uh, I. I love going to work more than anything else. So I can't wait to go back. <laughs> I'm so I, I I I I'm so glad we had this moment. And yeah. I really am. I really am. I'm glad I was alive and here to see this <laughs> you right now and like be part of this history. And I'm gonna let you get on to the other stuff you have to do tonight. All right. Thank and you. much love to you. And I know we'll Thank see each you. other. I've known you for decades as well. Okay. <laughs> I'm telling you, that's what's so special. We were young together. <laughs> we were young. Remember when we were young? I know. I know. You're still young. You're we still are. young. Damn it. I, I'm young in heart. I'm young in my brain. Yeah. I'm not young in my roots. Not young <laughs> in my roots. <laughs> All right. Good night, Heather. And have a good night. congratulations again. Thank you. Bye-bye.